When Dave Grohl fell off the stage and broke his leg, he surprised everyone, including bandmate Taylor Hawkins, by continuing the Foo Fighters world tour, performing from a throne. I think, in a way, Dave had been running around so much on stage for the last 15 years or whatever that for the first time people could just like have him, they could just see him just sit there and, and sing. But a busted leg and the strain of constantly being on the road proved too much. At a concert in Chicago, Dave lost it. I walked off stage and fully broke down in the dressing room. Tears. The it was the... like, I mean, it was like wailing, sobbing. It was really embarrassing. It's actually. like when your parents are crying. I've got my head in a towel just going <laughs> And the other guys are like putting on their socks and changing on their underwear, it's all quiet. Like, huh. are you okay, Dave? I'm like, I'm fine. Well, I, think listen, a you know, I fully had a, I totally had a breakdown. And then when we stopped touring, we got home, you know, I'd like grew the beard and I had the weird robe and I didn't leave the house for weeks. And mm. I told everybody like, let's, I don't want to do anything for a year. Like, let's just stop. Let's take a break. I know it We're burning it too right. hard. We got to stop. Blackbird singing in the dead of night. The band's hiatus and Dave's solo Dave performance at the 2016 Oscars led to speculation of a looming split. How did you find having the stage to yourself? Um, I loved it. I found it to be um, a lot easier. And I, I kind of, <laughs> I feel like it sounded better than I do with the other guys. Okay. So one finger, right? Mm. Just takes one finger. The music is right at your fingertips. In typical Foo Fighters style, they lampooned right, breakup rumors with a spoof video of Dave's new solo direction. Uh. Uh, what, what, what? But six months on, it was time to get back to making music for real. Come on, baby. What I have learned is that when you're going that hard for that long, you start to blame the music for all of your problems. And then you step away from it and you start to realize that the music was the one thing that healed you the whole time. You took yourself off to a house, I think you bought a case of wine and you yeah. wrote in your undies for five days. Yeah. I'm just imagining that apocalypse now scene. It was like that. <laughs> no, yeah. don't. I punched a mirror, <clears throat> spread the blood all over my <laughs> naked body and, and wrote um, some songs. The result was their latest album, one of Foo Fighters' most ambitious, proving these rockers are as together as they've ever been. Do you feel that, you know, that the pressure of the band, a lot of that is on your shoulders? Yeah, for sure. Mm. Thanks. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you know, I know that at the, end the, at the end of the day, it's my name at the bottom of the check, you know? I gotta make sure that whatever we do is, Not crap. is up to, Snuff, make sure it's good. And there's a lot of pressure. But I mean, honestly, like I've had shitty jobs. I worked at Shakey's Pizza. You don't want that pressure. <laughs> <laughs> so this is our heart. Today so though, there's something the else on the menu. Hey, Mac attack. How are you? Oh, you can say hi. What's up, man? How you doing, man? Dave and Taylor have invited themselves over to my place to cook dinner. Is that mama? This goes to you, mama. buddy. This goes to you. Mama. Does this make you miss your kids? Well, mama. it's nice to hold something that doesn't weigh 75 pounds. <laughs> Missing the comforts of home. Oh, <laughs> too much party, huh? Oh. This self-confessed barbecue addict can't wait to pick up the tongs. Yeah, when I came off the road and had nothing to do, I sat in front of a smoker and watched briskets for <laughs> a long so How many time. were you cooking, like, like once or one a week? I was doing a couple a week, but I was also doing pork butts and ribs and turkeys and chickens, and I went nuts. I like the look of that one. Dave Grohl proving right. it's not just guitar chops that are his specialty. Oh, that you good. How you want it right there. But before these two Foo Fighters leave Australia, they have one final thing to do. Hello. Right. Perform a secret gig at a tiny venue in Sydney. 
exercise, doesn't matter. Uh, not when it comes to the Chevy Metal. <laughs> <laughs> it's all a bit of fun for Dave Grohl, Taylor Hawkins and their mates, playing their favourite rock songs as their alter ego, Chevy Metal. Surely the world's most talented cover band. There's good and bad things about going on tour for years at a time. You know, the one thing that keeps you going is that two or three hours on stage, because that kind of you know, reminds you that you're alive and then why you're there. And then afterwards you're like, that was the best night of my yeah. fucking life. Yeah, it's I think that's why you do it. Trying to make the Foo Fighters great again. Yeah. Good luck with that. <laughs> oh, I got that. Thanks, man. Yeah, that was good. Funny. <laughs>